Welcome to Geotechnocrats once again. In our today's tutorial, we'll learn that how you can georefer a raster data. Now, what exactly georeferencing is? As you all know, that raster data is in the form of pixels. Now, these pixels are aligned in the form of rows and columns, which makes it as a geometric coordinate system. Now, the transformation of an image from geometric coordinate system to geographic coordinate system is known as georeferencing. Now, what is geographic coordinate system? That means where you are providing them spatial latitude and longitude. So that is georeferencing. Now, georeferencing can be done through ground control points, GCPs. Now, ground control points can be collected either through a handheld GPS device or through Google Earth or through GCPs libraries as well. So in today's lecture, we'll understand that how you can georefer a data, a high resolution satellite data acquired through Google Earth uh, with ground control points from Google Earth itself. So let us see how you can do that. In this video, I will tell the traditional way of georeferencing an image using ground control points, GCPs. Whereas I will tell you a shorter and a smarter way of downloading georeferred high resolution image from Google Earth in my next video. Now first of all you just open the Google Earth Pro and for example I want the image of some area like Ramna Park or Dhaka. So you just type in your area of interest in this box and uh, as I have already told you in the previous uh, video of mine that you can zoom in and zoom out the image as per your area of interest. So for example, I just want the image of the specific area. So now what we have to do is first you have to create a new folder under this temporary places. Um, for example, I have given the name as Ramna. Okay. So the temporary folder is created. Now I am going to add four places on my image and which will act as a ground control point, JCPs. So this is the option from where you can select or locate your ground control points. So click on this. Okay. I can change it to this. Okay. So this is the first point and you can locate it. and give the name as first. Okay. Then you have to create the second point just like the last one. So just click on this. Locate it. name as okay similarly two more okay while you locate your ground control points make sure that uh, you choose the location which are easy to identify like a road crossing or bridge over river or etc so the third point So here I'm taking, actually I'm taking three points, but uh, more the ground control points, more accurate will be your georeferencing. So just for example, I'm taking four points, you can take even more. For example, where is your? Point. Okay. 
okay so one two three four so here are my uh, four ground control points now um, you have to save these ground control points in KML file format so for that just right click on this then save place as you have to right click on the folder so once you right click on the folder all these four points will be saved in one folder in one KML file itself so select KML select your specific location and save so now all these ground control points are saved as a KML file there now you have to save this image as well so the same procedure as I have told you in the previous video you have to click on to the save icon which is the third last icon and take all the elements here resolution to the max and save the image save the image with the name for example saving it as Ramna refer and save it once the image is saved then you launch your ArcGIS okay once your ArcGIS is open uh, first you open the saved image And uh, now you have to convert your .kml file of GPS, oh, sorry, of your ground control points to layer as a vector layer. So for that, you have to go to the toolbox, conversion tool, and then click from KML to layer. Select your KML file and OK. This will convert your KML file into a layer into a point vector layer okay so your point vector layer is added now now open the georeferencing tool customize toolbar and georeferencing now zoom in to the first point select the georeferencing mark to the point which are layered in this image so the first point is georeference now again zoom to layer to your image do the same thing zoom in the next point and georeference it to the second point now the option 3 so you repeat repeat the same thing for the third and the fourth point as well so here we are doing it for the third point You can even change the color of the uh, point file to make it more visible to you if you want. So third point is done and we will repeat the same for the fourth point also. So georeferencing is almost done after the fourth point. So 
we have zoomed in to the maximum so that uh, we can exactly locate the point on the image and the vector point file. So georeferencing is almost over. Now we can check out the latitude and the longitude. See the latitude and the longitude are correct now. So the image is now georeferred. Now you can export this image into your uh, desired format.